I'm going to make a turkey wreath. It is Pampered Chef's turkey wreath. I should put my I should put my glasses on um, because I can't see. That's okay though. I have this kind of down to science because I make it <clears throat> after every Thanksgiving. So you need, and I'll post the recipe. You need two things of crescent rolls. Now, if you want to make this tonight and you have turkey, go to your local Dollar General. They will have all your rest or all your ingredients except for probably parsley. And, oh, um, that's okay. So I have this circle, beautiful circle, probably for twenty years. Um, Pampered Chef Circle Pizza thing. And then somebody got a pith box. I actually bought it for him. Yeah, and it ruined it. Ruined my circle. So sad. So now I have the square thing. I shall not complain. Okay. So you just kind of lay it out here. Watch this like work out better than the circle, and then I'm gonna be like, oh, well, good thing you ruined it. I would never know. Um, actually, he doesn't know he ruined it. Well, he kind of does. I told him I said, just keep it. I don't want it. It doesn't even look right because it's all like black on the bottom. I do think it's round, but whatever. Okay, so you kind of make like a real beautiful star, kind of. I'm sure there's some kind of name for this kind of star. And you do it on the outer edge as much as you can. And it's it's gonna like practically, yeah, you kinda wanna do it as far out as you can. And you can just roll it into each other, kind of. Like push it, make sure the ends are touching and together. So when it cooks, bakes, it's not gonna go, you know. All right. So, it's always such a fun time getting these things apart. Now, I'd have to say, truly, the Pillsbury is a little better. It doesn't taste better, just is a little packaged better, and so whatever. All right, and so these you're going to just line them up, and they're going to go inside. So line them up, press them down so that they're like me. I was like, where are the rest? I don't even have them. Well, that one's a nice turn. Try to fix it a little bit. I have two videos going. Yeah. I have my brownie video, my Michigan brownies. Um, one, it's cooling right now, and then this one. As soon as this one's in the oven, I'll probably check that one, see if I can finish it up. All right, so this is what you look like you have, okay? I don't want these to get stuck underneath. That would be good. So you oil this Pampered Chef thing as good as you can oil it. Okay, so it's in my way now, but that's okay. Typically, I do the turkey. I don't know, I'm getting like excited, so I must be uh, not thinking. All right, so in the bowl, you are going to put um, one half cup of mayonnaise, which I already measured out. I just weighed it on the um, scale for two ounces. Wait, two ounces would be one fourth. Well, you know what? I was going to do two of these, and I didn't. So, there's the other four, because I only did two ounces. So, we really need four ounces. Perfect! <coughs> I wanted to do two because we have kids over, but I don't have any more crescent rolls. Okay. Two tablespoons of honey Dijon. I don't really measure because I'm not going to. So, I kind of, ooh. Kind of just eyeball it. All right, that came out pretty fast, but it was okay. Half 
teaspoon of black powder. Don't breathe it in. Half a teaspoon. Wow, that's really down there. I need to add some more, apparently. And then two cups of chopped cooked turkey or 12 ounces, which I just did 12 ounces, not measuring. Half a cup of celery, celery from your leftover. I mean, this seriously, all this stuff left over from your Thanksgiving dinner, mostly. Three tablespoons of snip parsley. And if you don't have leftovers because you didn't do it, no big deal, use chicken. Three tablespoons of parsley, snip fresh parsley. One half cup of sweetened dried cranberries. I don't want to hear it. You know what? My kids love this. And you can too. Don't get it. I don't like cranberry. You know what? They don't either. They like this. Um, one cup or four ounces of Swiss cheese. I just buy the little um, sandwich ones, the slices, the thin slices. And then I measure out four ounces. Right? Four ounces? Four ounces is one cup. Hmm. Maybe that's too much mayonnaise. Hmm. Oh well. We'll see. Anyways. And then one fourth cup of walnuts coarsely chopped, which I do like the walnuts in it. However, I'm not sure if I have walnuts. I forgot the walnuts. So a thing. And I would use a nut. So I'm going to not paying in this freezer. So probably in one of my freezers, but all right now I don't need a spoon to stir it all up. That's all. That's all that's in there. Look how yummy. Mm -mm -mm. That smells so good bring back memories of this every year when I make it. Okay. Have I done it without Dijon mustard and just made my own up? Have I done it without cranberries because I didn't have any? I mean, I've done it without parsley. I've done like fake parsley, not fake, but like not fresh, dried, I guess. I mean, I've done it all different ways. It's a very forgiving recipe. It's really good. Don't knock it to try it. Okay. So you take your pampered chef big scooper and you're going to put it in the, on the folds of the crescent roll. And is it going to get all over and goo out? Yes, it is. It's okay. It doesn't have to be neat and tidy. You're gonna be yeah. thankful. It's so good. I kind of put a scoop, like just scoop it right next to each other to make the wreath looking thing. Now, typically, I don't even measure. I just throw stuff in there. And so I have a ton left over, but I measure it because I'm videotaping. So I might not have a ton left over, which is fine. Actually, it'd probably be better because it's not going to be spewing out all over the place. Okay. There's that. Okay, so now the fun begins. You kind of alternate and tuck under. When I first started this, I'm like, huh? But it really is easy. I wish I had the video I took come over here. You just kind of alternate and tuck. I try to get the middles out before anything else because, and you gotta watch because you gotta take the last part of the middle that was in there first. You're not taking the way, way bottom because then you'll have a problem. Okay, and then. doing this. It's looking good. 
Did I three seventy five? I had it at three fifty because that's my standard standard heating element. I sprayed this like there was no tomorrow, okay? Because I don't want it to stick. My other one was seasoned and wonderful and looked nasty because it was used so long for probably twenty years. One time on that pit boss. Yep. Ruined. I think it caught on fire. Yeah, for a two dollar and fifty cent pizza. Yeah, Jack's pizza. That's what they were making. Mm -hmm. Jack's pizza. Not even like the self rising yummy pizza. Nope. The two dollar and fifty cent pizza. My. And you know the thing is, it was probably twenty five dollars. Maybe it was cheaper than that. I don't know. The amount of money doesn't matter. The memories that were burnt into that and seasoned into that is what I'm missing. Now it's just charred. Charred. I have no clue even where it is. It may not even come to this house. I have no clue. Anyway, I know I said I wasn't going to complain. It just now takes me back to think about that beautiful circle thing. Because now, I think I have one. I don't know. It has like little handles on it. Which is kind of a pain. And it's not, it doesn't feel as, it, this feels real stony. The other one didn't feel stony. I don't know if it's because the grease was in it, but whatever. All right, so this is what it's going to look like without it falling. And I'm going to bake it for, I gotta see, I don't remember. How many minutes? Let's look. How many minutes? house is awfully hot tonight. I don't know why. Usually we're freezing and snowing too. All right, how many minutes am I baking it? Glasses would be great. 25 to 30. So I'm not sure about this one. We will go 22 minutes. So we'll be back in 22 minutes. I don't know what time it is right now. Okay, psych. I totally forgot. Um, you have to do a white, um, egg white, and you're going to do this and then put it on top, then put it in the oven so that it gets nice and brown. So you just kind of put it on top. So I pulled it out very quickly within two minutes. I don't know how I forgot, but I did. And you're not going to use all of it. Again, you're going to waste it, and it's okay. Unless you're counting your chicken or your egg. Oh. It's okay to waste a little bit of egg. I mean, you could fry it up if you want. I'm not doing that. This is not so hot. Okay, I'm setting it for 22 minutes again. Okay. And we're going to put it out. Okay, so I just pulled this out. You can see it. And I will cut it. I mean, it did kind of, the cheese melted on the outside. It didn't stick, which, yay, it didn't stick. Okay, it is so good though, truly. Sizzling, it's hot. I'm gonna show you on the camera how good it looks. Look at that. Okay, it looks so good. Um, I'll do time. I have to let it cool though for a second. All right, Jamie's gonna try it. Wait, what's this? Cherry? Yeah, just try it. I hate cherries. No, it's cranberry. I hate cranberries. Just try it, Jamie. Now, I didn't put the walnuts in it. What do you think? Pretty good, but... For me, without the cranberries, no. Now, Jamie, you were like so into cranberries, I had to buy bags and bags and bags of them because you would just eat them straight out of the And bag. then I grew out of them. It was just like three months ago. 
I know. Okay. Anyway, so there you got it. He does like it. Jamie, would you eat this? Because that's dinner. Do you want it or no? He does. Wait, walnuts? I usually put walnuts in it. I didn't put walnuts this time. No. Yeah, because I didn't know if the kids that came over had allergies. Yeah, so that's your plate. Do you like it? <laughs> I still have panties. Okay, there you go. Have a good night.